right, guys, welcome to episode 59 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got Tori and Toby in the back. Milo and Maddie running around. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We're back with another one. Yo, we appreciate yo. everybody that's rocking, sharing, subscribing, thumbs up, all that good shit. Don't forget to support. Go down in the description, man. We're going to put the link to merch. We got some merch out now, guys. So support. We're waiting on our stuff so we can start fucking wearing it and shit. But yeah, man, nice, if you nice. want to support, you know what I'm saying? Go down and, and, and support. But mm -hmm. um, but yeah, man, we're back with another one. How you feeling, Johnny Boy? Shit, shit, chilling, man. Had a good little Halloween. Partied a little too little. much. I'll tell you what, <laughs> this nigga was smoking on a fucking baton. Yo, if the got... biggest joint I ever fucking seen in my life. <laughs> I posted <laughs> besides Lil Wayne's. Facts. Lil, Lil Wayne's, Wayne's joint man. was a fucking bat, nigga. Nah, this shit this shit was like a little mini bat. You know those little that mini shit... bats? It's like the baton yeah, that the yeah, cops yeah. carry. Uh, you know, you fucking knock somebody over the head with that shit. Fucking you, you fucking drop one of those bitches in the fucking forest. You are gonna start a whole that's fucking. A, <laughs> you gotta that's start, a flare, bitch. This is gonna fucking catch the whole woods on fire. SOS, SOS, like, facts, <laughs> big facts. But yeah, now nah, happy Halloween to everybody out there that you know celebrates that shit. I personally don't, but I just got high as fuck facts. last night, bro. I, I smoked like eight fun. joints, nigga. Eight joints, goddamn. So I don't even know how many joints I smoke. <laughs> With that one joint, but it Nigga, was, that, that was at that least. That joint had a bad thing, <laughs> like a half ounce of bud, bro. It was. It was like 10, 10 grams to a half ounce of bud. It was a big ass joint, bro. That, that was, was crazy. crazy. If you guys didn't see it, I posted it on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram, uh, Dope Talk TV. Dope Talk right TV, here. man. Follow us on Twitter, all that shit, man. We're on Facebook, We're on TikTok, fucking. My dog got us on goddamn everything, so. Everything. You can find us wherever. Go support, for sure, for facts, sure. Facts, facts. But, yeah, man. We're going to go ahead and get right into some some topics, bro. And a lot of the topics we came with today have to do with, like, you know, education, college, school, period, whatever. Yeah. And um, one of the questions that I had, bro, was does a degree guarantee a job, you know? Because that's one of the things that they try to sell you to go to college with. They're like, oh, you know, you're going to have a job guaranteed in your field and this and that. Yeah. And honestly, the majority of people that get out of college are in debt and they can't find a job in their field yeah. with the degree. Yeah, facts. So it's like, at what point, you know, is it worth it? Is it a scam? What's your opinion on that shit, bro? Um, I mean, it depends on what you want to do. Like, if you want to become a lawyer, you want to become a doctor. Even, bro, I even have a cousin that she's a doctor. And she came out in debt. You know right. what I mean? Because she couldn't pay for the student loans. Yeah, she's a doctor. But guess what? Now you're a broke doctor. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and you're going to be making bread. But a lot of that bread is going to go to someone else for a while. Countless hours. But yeah, I, I agree, man. It, it all depends on, you know, it all depends on what field you go into, bro. Like, if you're going into for arts and, you know, just art or whatever, like, yeah. chances are, my nigga, like, you, that degree ain't going to get you much. Nah. You know? And it's like. Yeah, bro, you, you got to know what you're going for. You Some people go to go just to go. You know, they go to college just to go, see how it is, feel it out. But a lot of people go in there with this illusion that it's like, oh, I'm going to go there, and, you know, in four years, I'm going to leave with my fucking degree or whatever, yeah. and I'm going to have a job. And a lot of the times, that's not the fucking case, bro. Like, that's not the case at all. So you just got to know yourself, man. But, but yeah, and then this standardized test and shit, yeah, bro, that yeah. you brought up. Yeah, that standardized testing. Um, you know, we grew up doing the FCAT and shit like that. Ass. I didn't. I, I promise you, I didn't pass the FCAT till the actual time came that I had to really do it, unless mm -hmm. I wasn't going to graduate. Facts. And I passed. I remember getting. God was with me on this, guys. I literally passed the math portion of it by one point. If I would have got one question wrong, I would have failed. and I would have graduated. So God was with me on that. And shout out Facts. to Gene. Uh, yeah, it was Gene. Remember Gene? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Giancarlo, RIP, man. bro. Rest in peace to Giancarlo, bro. Yeah. Real uh, shit. He helped me out. He went out of his way to help me pass that. So without Fast. him, I wouldn't have passed. Yeah, guys, I already graduated, so it don't fucking count. So fuck you guys. I cheated. <laughs> I cheated. I cheated. So did my brother. <laughs> bro, listen, man. That Apex class, nigga. That's, yeah, that's if what If you I... didn't cheat, nigga, you... Facts. You didn't know what you was doing. Milo, shut up. Facts. Hey, Milo, shut up. relax, man. Excuse excuse our, you know, Shh. our buddy over here. He's yeah. getting a little riled up. But um It's our monster. But yeah, man. This this the standardized testing, bro, I feel like they should just get rid of it altogether. It's not something that's like you 
you don't get too much information from it because if the teacher's bad, if you have a teacher that doesn't know how to teach in that method, bro, then the kids are most likely going to fail at that type of testing. Yeah. Or, you know, like, everybody's not good at that type of testing. Like, everybody yeah. learns different. Everybody takes tests different. So, and and then on top of that, bro, standardized testing doesn't, like, it's not. Doesn't determine your idea. Yeah, it doesn't determine how smart you are, bro. Exactly. All it determines is how much you paid attention to. Exactly. And like, how good are it. you at like, memorizing? How much, yeah, how much did you memorize in a short period amount of time? Yeah. Everybody ain't good at memorizing shit. Yeah, exactly. There's kids that can read a fucking book, bro, and they'll memorize half of it and be able to pass a test. There's kids that can't. They need to read three or four times. Yeah, I think know? it's I think it's for the system. I think it's set up for the system to get all the smart kids in one position. You know yeah, what I they mean? start separating you in high school with the AP classes. You yep. got AP students and you got regular students. You got, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But I don't know, man. I feel like the the whole the whole system, bro. The education, you know, system is broken, bro. In a lot of ways, like it's not really about education. It's about memorization, and it's about you know, a lot of it is rewritten history too. That's why it's like. When you're a kid, you're just learning and you're going, you're reading through textbooks and shit, and you're like, oh, okay, this is what happened. But the older you get and the more research you do on your own, you're like, bro, half of that shit was bullshit. Facts. Half of it was bullshit, bro. It was yeah. lies and it was just rewritten history. The only you thing, know? the only class that I would say, and the only real teacher I would say, I forgot his name. I know it's fucked up. I'm not good with names, guys. I'm good with faces. Facts. But he, uh, he taught me, it was economics. It was economics. That's what it was. And he taught us about, you know, credit and debit card and mm -hmm. how he doesn't believe in like, you know, uh, he said, buy everything with, with your debit card. And I was just like, damn, for real? And he apparently he's a millionaire. That's right. what I heard around town. I forgot his name. I think you had him too. But he was upstairs in the corner. Um, uh, he was a black man. He was a black man. He was a black teacher. Uh, I don't but remember. Very, very educated guy though. And uh, I could tell like he was serious about his shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he actually was teaching. It wasn't, like, just reading out of a book. Yeah, you know, some there's some teachers are just natural-born teachers. Like, they yeah. just, they're good at teaching, and they love to teach other people. And there's teachers that went in it for, for the money, and you could tell. Like, you yeah, know, you, you could, could tell. tell. Yeah, you could tell lazy. Who was lazy. Who was there for the check and who was there really trying to make sure that you understood what they were teaching. Like, for me, and bro, even one a of check, my favorite teachers... One of my favorite teachers was Ms. Vaughn, man. Ms. Vaughn, I remember her. if you ever see this, I love you. You're my favorite fucking teacher, bro. Like, she single-handedly is the reason why my vocabulary is the way it is, why I'm able to write and comprehend when I read and shit like that. Like, she, that was a great teacher. And I feel like teachers are undervalued and underappreciated. Like, yep. the real teachers, bro. The real ones. Because... She took her time, bro. She had my mom on speed dial type shit, bro. Yeah. Like, I started acting up in class, and she looked at me and be like, remember, I'm, like, I, I got your mom on speed dial. Facts. Like, don't fuck off. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, that's you, a real teacher. You got to appreciate you know those man? type of people that actually care about you. Yeah, like, you know? she, it's tough love. In the moment, you're like, yo, she, like, why is she riding me like this? But yeah. then it, you look at it, yo, yo, she was really trying to make sure I, like, had the opportunity to have a better future. Yep. You know? Like. Yeah. Same with Colonel. I did ROTC for about three, three and a half years. I didn't do my senior year because I was like, fuck this. But I fucking Colonel, man. A lot of people hated him. I know you didn't like him. I know there was a lot yeah. of situations. You know, but it was more just like because I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? Nah, about I was just at that age. I mean, number one, I was a young fucking dumb kid. Um, and number two, like to me, the way I thought about it at that age, especially, it was like, bro, I'm not your student. Yeah. Like you can't. Like I don't wear your uniform. I don't go to your class. Yeah. Like. Why are you sitting here yelling at me like I'm in the fucking army? Yeah, facts. <laughs> you know? But ultimately, like, it's, it, again, that goes back to tough love. Like, he was just like, why are you not in class? Yeah. Like, go to class. Bro. Because you're not doing nothing productive out here. Facts. And there was, one, I mean? yeah, like, there was one time I got in trouble, I got a referral, and he knew about it. He fucking called me. He's like, Griff. <laughs> he said my last name. He said, hey, come in here. I was like, damn, I'm in trouble. Nah, facts. Yo, I, I shut the door. He's like, yo, what the fuck? Do you want to fucking fail? You fucking stupid? That's how he's talking to me. Nah, facts. He's like, bro, do you, he's like, you want to graduate? I was Real like, shit. Yeah, it's true. He's like, you need to pass this class, this class, this class by this time. If not, you're not walking, bro. And I'm just trying to help you out. Real talk. He's like, you haven't even fucking passed the standardized test. Right. And I was like, damn, that was junior year. Nah, bro. When you're a kid, you don't look at shit like that, man. Like, Man, shout out to Pat. 
Pat, the, the he was the head janitor, bro. Oh, I remember him, the white guy. Yeah, he was super fucking cool, bro. Cool was as hell. Dog, man. Shout out to you, Pat. He was fucking always like, like, bro. There was there was times where like he he could tell that certain kids were going through shit, and like you know he'd come and like be like, oh, I need to borrow him. Yeah. Like you'll go to your class and be like, yeah, I need I need him. And then he'll, like, just take you, be like, oh, yeah, he's going to help me, with, you know, set up the football field or something. Your teacher will let you go with him, and then he just takes you to the office and just talks to you and shit. Yeah. Like, hey, what's going on, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? I see you acting up or whatever. You're acting different. Like, it's those type of people in schools are very important because he wasn't a teacher. He was a janitor. Yeah. He didn't but have it's to like, do that. He didn't have to do nothing. Yeah. But he still cared enough to go out of his way and be like, hey, bro, like, what's up? Like, what are you doing? Like. You know what I mean? People if, don't people don't look at that shit. Yeah, you know? bro. Especially you gotta when you're a kid, bro. Like, yeah, you gotta appreciate the fuck out of stuff like that, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like you just have to. It's respect. It's respect. It's, it's yeah. Day. It's respect uh, at the end of the day, and it's kind of just like you being an adult and looking at it from a different perspective. It's crazy. Right. You change from like being young, the way you look at things, and then how you look at it now. You yeah, know, that's it's way different. It's different. Yeah. It's way different. But yeah, man, do you think that they, you know, talking about the school shit, you think they should have uniforms in high school, bro? Um, I, I, I think so. Yeah, I think it'd be dope, man. I think it's cool because it won't, like knowing me, man, I remember just caring what people thought about me in high school. Just, you know, an insecurity of mine. Yeah, that was a big part of growing you up, You know, man. And, and you kind of just like, you always want to look fly, you want to have the best shit. Um. Uh, and you start to get really materialistic with shit. And you start to, like, think you're better than other people because you got better shit. Yeah, and I think that that's part of the problem. It's like, cause, like, there's kids that, bro, they can't afford, like, their parents can't afford Jordans and, and yeah. the, the cool shit or the whatever cool you shit. want to call it. But, like, I feel like if, if there was uniforms, like, it'd be a lot less of that because, nigga, you're all wearing the same shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, what, like yeah, what, oh, you got different shoes now. Yeah. There's the, wow. like, you who know, cares about kids, that? Yeah. They'll, they'll find shit to, oh, well, you oh, got damn. Skechers, I got Jordans or whatever. Yeah, it's like, it's like bro. They, you, they both help you walk the same fucking way. <laughs> they both cover your feet the same fucking way. Yeah, it's all about yeah. branding. And, and we, we, remember what we were talking about at the gym when you were kind of just like, yo, when I had the Nike pants and they were ripped and I paid, what, $60, faded, $50. Yeah. They were faded. They ripped real easily. He had he had a fucking pair yeah, I had of fucking a pair of shorts from Burlington that I bought for like ten dollars like five years ago. Yeah, and I remember that like and five. It, it was more it than was, that. It was a long time ago, and these pants are still red, like yeah. red, red. Yeah, I know. And I paid ten dollars, and I was telling them like, bro, we pay for the brand. It's not the quality. Yeah. Because the Nike shorts faded in a year. These shorts haven't faded in five years, but you were willing to pay four or five times more for that Nike sign on. Yep. Just because of the status. Like, oh, look, I'm wearing this. And, you know, we're all guilty of it. Look, bitch, I'm wearing fucking, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing shit right now. But it's like, you can't let it control your life. It's it's moderation with everything, bro. Everything. Like, you know, like, it's cool to have nice things. It's cool to have nice clothes and yeah, shit. It's cool. But it's like, don't, don't stay, let humble it, yourself. Don't let, yeah, don't let it. Don't let it control your life to the point where, like, you feel like you're better than someone else because you have Yeezys and they don't. Or, exactly. you know, you have polo and they don't. Who gives a fuck, nigga? Because at the end of the day, none of that shit fucking matters. How did you treat people around you? You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. That's all that matters. That's, that's all that people... That's really re all that matters. Like That's what he said. Were the you pastor. a good person or not? Yeah. That's, that's funny. it. That's funny how you said that, man. Because at my, my grandfather's funeral, the pastor that was speaking for my grandfather there, he was like, that's all people remember you as when god takes you when he's gone people are just they don't it's not about the money it's not about anything else or how tough you are it's not about that fact it's not it's true you gotta humble yourself yeah bro being yeah. humble is essential man you have to be humble yeah. if not you close a lot of doors for yourself when you're arrogant and you just like you move a certain way like yeah and when you're younger you kind of just like you can get pressured into certain shit you know, that's kind of yeah, like... Yeah, man. Like, you're just... Honestly, bro, until a certain age, you're just figuring yourself out. That's really all it is. Yeah. You know, that's why you go through stages. Like, like for example, bro, I used to sag my fucking pants a lot. Like, you remember, bro, like, I, you couldn't catch me without me sagging my pants. Yeah. And that was just a stage in life that I had to go through. And, like, now I just don't... I don't really do it. You yeah. You know, I mean, but it's yeah. like... It's like... 
like you just go through shit. You learn who you are. You learn who you're not. What you're willing to do. What you're not willing to do. And then you adapt. You know what I mean? And you just you literally adapt. You're yeah. always you're always changing. And if you're not, then you're not living. That's a fact, man. You, know? you have to change, bro. And and you should try to change for the better. That's not a just good, change. That's a good know? segue though into peer pressure. You know, is it beneficial or is it not? Like I feel like peer pressure it can go both ways, man. It don't it all depends on how it's applied. You know, like peer pressure could be bad or it could be great. If somebody's peer pressuring you into ruining your life, you know, that could go bad. Or if somebody's peer pressuring you into fucking starting a business or whatever the fuck it is that could benefit you. Yeah. It could benefit you. You yeah. know, it all depends on how you look at it. Yeah. But ultimately I feel like I feel like good peer pressure is good. You know? It steel sharp and steel. Like you, you gotta have people around you that are motivating you and and motivating themselves, bro. And just like have that mentality of like we're gonna get it regardless. You know what I mean? So facts. That's true. Yeah, I think I think peer pressure is, is beneficial in certain ways. Yeah, I mean, for I mean, sure. I, it's a mutual thing. Yeah, it's like right in the middle. I don't know which way to go with it. But yeah, it all depends on how it is. Like it all depends on on the person and how they uh how they solve a problem or an issue that they feel uncomfortable with. Do do are they a follower or are they a leader? You know, that's right. it all comes down to insecurities and and what that person is. Mhm. So, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, that's a that yeah. is a good way of putting it. Um, but yeah, but yeah, dog. Zoos. Do you think they should be fucking shut down, bro? Zoos. Shit. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Um. Damn, bitch! I almost fucking. God damn, almost blew our blew fucking, my fucking eardrum out. Fucking Sea World, man. Like, you look at Sea World, right? And you seen that documentary about what black was it? Blackfish or black something? Blackfin. You guys know what I'm talking about, but. Yeah, it was shitty. It made SeaWorld look bad, and, and their sales dropped because they, they looked like bad, they were prof, profiting off these whales. And, they are and, profiting you know? off these whales. Bro, listen, man. Do you know how much an orca, like, needs to swim? I'm going to look it up, bro, because they're stuck in, like, these, gal these fucking, you know, tanks, yeah. and they need hundreds of square miles to swim a day. Yeah. Like, just, just to swim. I know. It, and it, it's it, like they're going in circles, circles in this little fucking thing. Like, I feel like all that shit should be done with, yeah. man. Because if they're rescued, all right. Now, how long does it take for them to be fucking healed? Let them go. And I know that I know that Toby's sister was uh, work. I think she worked at SeaWorld for a little bit. And, you know, they release dolphins. They actually do positive shit for the environment, yeah. which is cool. But there is some shit that they're trying to, like, make it seem like, okay, yeah, we're trying to help them. But I think they're just taking advantage I at mean, this point. I mean, it's all profitable at the end of the day. It's profitable. And, I mean, some whales might not be able to be released back into the wild because yeah, they're too exactly. accustomed. Like, they're not used to hunting. Yeah, they they're can't. They're not used to just fending for themselves out there, bro. It's a big-ass ocean, my nigga. Yep. Very, very That's true. It's a big-ass ocean. So, it's like... Some whales might not, but there's a lot of animals that, like, it, it's all for profit, man. Same thing with zoos. Like, I used to love the zoo when I was a kid, you know, because you love to see the animals. But then when you get older and you're like, holy fuck, man, like, these animals aren't supposed to be here. Yeah. They're not native to here. Like, they're going fucking crazy in this cage, man. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, when they, it's did, like, they did the fucking movie, uh, the actual... Uh, Man, I'm high, guys. I'm sorry, but what, Free Willy. Free Willy, yeah. Free fucking Willy, man. Fucking, you know, when they released fucking that orca back, it it went back to its home in Norway, like, and it died in Olesen. Olesen, uh, uh, pretty much is like an island on the coast of Norway. So like, that's all right islands in, in, in Harride, and it actually died in Harride, which mm -hmm. is where my dad's like city, like where he's from. And then you could take a ferry to to Olesen, which is like, you know, like a 10, 15 minute ferry. You park your car on there and you just fucking go. It's fucking trippy. Mm. But you see orcas and shit like that, but that's where it died. There's a mm. little uh, memorial place like at this park with him on it. It's cool. Yeah, it's, nah, it's bro. It's crazy. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have a heart, bro, for, you know, for animals in it. Yeah, and especially fine. people, man, which leads me into the next topic, which is something that's really unfortunate because, you know, the elections are coming up and stuff like that. Everybody's focused on certain things, which is okay, you yeah. know, because that's, you know, it's important too. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things that get overlooked. And one of the things that got overlooked is um, 
is these missing children that were found in multiple states. At first, there was a report saying that they were all found in a trailer in Georgia. That's false. They weren't all found together. Only two kids out of the 30, you know, out of the 30-something kids, 39 kids were found together. But, yeah, man, I'm just going to read a little bit of it. Yeah. Um, a spokesman for the U.S. Marshal told Reuters via email that the children who ranged from ages 3 to 17, bro. The children ranged from ages 3 years old. Jesus. To 17 were not all found in a single place the children were found in a variety of places homes motels on the street only two of the children were found together while the u.s marshals press release stated the operation took place in atlanta and Mac macon georgia the spokesman clarified the rooters that the majority of the children were located in georgia but others were found in south carolina tennessee oklahoma florida Kentucky and Michigan. So these kids are being fucking trafficked. Yeah. Back and forth from state to state all over the country, bro. For God knows who the fuck what. Yeah. That's that's fucking crazy. And it's ridiculous and no one's talking about it. And you know, uh, it says of the thirty nine children, thirteen had required a welfare check due to uncertainty over their conditions. While the other twenty six children were critically missing, for example, with a person endangering their safety or suffering from a complication requiring medication so this is serious bro like that shit's serious and it's something that needs to needs to be talked about more because there was an episode with joe rogan and he had on a, a special agent uh that works strictly catching children that are being sex trafficked mm -hmm. and he says that the problem is way bigger than what people think and it's serious, bro. And there's kids going missing every day, being kidnapped and abducted, taken somewhere else, and being used as fucking sex slaves. Yeah, it's like, like it's like fucking that movie. Um, uh, tra not transport. Uh, he's like, yo, I'll, I'll save you. Remember? What's that fucking movie? The transporter. Or something? Not transporter. Uh, fuck, I forgot what it's called. But you guys know what I'm talking about too. <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> it's fucking lit. No, yeah, but not, nah, bro. Like. It's a serious, it's a serious issue, man. Yeah. And I know a lot of, you know, we're getting older. A lot of our friends have babies, literal, you know, actual yeah, yeah. babies. Having kids and shit, yeah. And it's like, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. That there's three-year-old kids out here, four-year-old, five-year-olds, little kids, bro, being trafficked for some some crazy shit. Yeah. Even organs. Everything. Yeah. All that. A lot of kids go missing. Some of them get put into the sex trade. Some of them get sold for organs. You know, it, it's it's fucking insane, but it's definitely something that we that needs to be talked about more, and, and the spotlight needs to be put on. More. Yeah, the you save the mean? save the children shit is kind of like disappearing. So, you know, yeah, what I'm guys, saying? for real, like, you know, we, we gotta start. We gotta that. start saving the children. They're the future, and it sounds corny, it's touche, whatever yeah, you want to call, we'll it, call it, but it's fucking true, man. Like, yeah. the, our kids are our future. We need to protect them, and we need to make sure that they, they have a safe place to fucking grow up in, man. Like, this shit's crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, it's fucking insane. It is. It's insane. But, yeah, yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that came back, is rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Thumbs up. Hit the like button. Hit the, uh, the notification bell. Yeah, thumbs up. And, you know, thumbs if you want to support, guys, if you want to support. The link is right the here. The link is right below. Go down and buy yourself something. You know what Even I'm saying? Even if you buy guys need something. Yeah, if you need a mask if you need a hoodie you know what i'm saying if you want to support you know what i'm saying if you just don't even want to buy nothing and just donate there's a you could do that too um just you know we appreciate everybody and we love you guys stay safe and tell somebody you love them peace All right, family. love peace